Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to rig any of the quadruped animals in Blender 3D animation software. For any of the 3D models, if you if you not rig it, then you cannot perform any of the 3D animations. You cannot make the animation. So start from now. I'm going to show you the step by step. First, this is Blender 4.0. The first step, I'm going to press A and press delete buttons to delete everything. And now, I'm going to show you some of some of the, the sample animals that already have the 3D mesh. For example, the dog 02, right? And the dog 01, tiger 01. All of this, it doesn't have any of the rigs and skeletons yet. All right, I'm going to use one of it as the sample. I'm going to use the dot zero two. First, I copy the for the destination location. I'm going to import the FBX file. I copy this, then click file. Import FBX from here. I paste it and press enter the dot zero two. Now have a look. First step, just click here, click the viewport shading so that you can see. Now next just just click Z make sure all right just now it's like this click Z and make sure the head is turned to the bottom you click and then click rotate just rotate in that way then move move until it is at the center like this Right. Next, use your mouse middle button to rotate it up. Next, click negative Y like this and click, press move, and here, press control, full stop, and move the pivot point to the bottom like this. Then, again, press control, full stop again. Then, pull it up like this done now we can see it already straight next we are going to start to rig it but just click here control a control a then all transform then go to the edit preferences search for the add-on search for rigify make sure the rigify is already turned on already activated close it Next, we are going to call out the skeletons. Just add armature, basic, quadruped. Then click and press S to make it small. Then click here, open the viewport display to make sure it is showing in front so that you can see it. Then click and press S to make sure it is fit to the scale. Next, we are going to move the skeletons. The first, we are going to make sure it is at the center, at the center of the leg. So you can click here, then click, go to the edit mode, click under the options, turn on the X axis mirror, then click. Move it, drag. You can turn turn it on like this. Make sure it is at the center. So this. All right. For for the front leg, already done. Then click X and we are going to make sure it is at the center as well. This one up a bit like this. Right. Then here, do the same. It is automatically symmetry because of just now you already turned here on. Now you just need to make sure it is at the correct position. This one, up, like this. 
Next is the tail and the head. We are going to move it up for this. So just select all of this like this. Click hold the control to select all of it. Just move it up together like this. Now it's the head. Now this is the neck. Then here should be the tail, this one, up, up, here, just up, Make sure you rig the tail properly. Right now, have a look. Click Z and move it to the correct point, like this. There is one more. Click. Some parts here. Done. Then, click negative X. Make sure it is at the center of the mesh. This is to read the tail. Done. Next is this leg hold the control click the last one you can just move it together like this then make sure it is symmetry so for this part you don't want the symmetry you can just turn it off to make sure it is at the center right once done already then you can rig it first you have to back to the object modes then click the mesh hold the shift click the skeleton then control p choose with automatic weight now everything done just try to turn the turn the head and see you have to make sure you click the skeletons and go to the post mode then click the head turn right now you have to turn back the the tail you can turn it is really easy Now this is the tail. And we try the leg. Everything worked properly. Right. Now it is done. You can just save your Blender project file and export as FBX. It is really easy. Just click file save as and I'm going to save it on my desktop and name this project as doc01 so, sorry it's doc02 save as and so I'm going to export as FBX then the path mode you have to choose copy and activate this so that all of the material texture embedded inside the FBX exported to export FBX now you already have the FBX file that's ready 
ready for 3D animations and game engines. Just try to double click, you can see. And even if you import into another software, for example, the Icon 3D Exchange 7s, you still can use it. Just drag in and we have a look for the material. For the material output is here. Just name this as JPG. It's okay. Then drag and drop. Now we try to check the skeletons. Now it already run in third party software like convert to non-standard. We try. Right, you can see everything can can function properly. Right, great. Then it is it is ready for your game engine and 3D animations. Alright, that's all for today about my tutorials on how to rig animals in Blender 3D animation software to make any of your animal 3D models to be ready for 3D animations and game developing. Alright, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials and sharings, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animations and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations and 3D game developing. See you!